BJ always jokes about my wrist flexibility. I can't move it more than this. Like, doesn't go. Bye, Shay. <laughs> Shay was great. <laughs> Maybe we should do this part again. <laughs> ah. Hi Bruin fans and welcome to our second episode of Bruin Banter this year. Today our special guest is our freshman Shay Campo. I'm really excited to have you on the show. I would much rather have you in person, but I'm happy to have you also on the Zoom screen. So welcome. Thank you, happy to be here. So past weekend we had our first travel meet. We went to University of Arizona and we scored a 196.75 and you won the all around. So tell us a little bit about traveling with the team. What was the experience like? Well, first of all, we love a good 10-hour bus ride. Um, that was a lot of fun. The bus ride was really fun. I love being able to like dance in the desert. We had plenty of breaks. Definitely. I think we did a great job and like the coaches did a good job getting some fresh air. So this was actually really fun for our first travel meet, which was different than what we were used to do before. So after this long bus ride, we finally made it to Arizona and the next day we had our meet. We started on bars and Mars totally killed it with a 9-9, won the event. We moved to vault near such a high vault, scoring a 9-8-7-5, but then Shay wanting to go even higher, scoring a 9-9. And after vault, we moved to floor, our favorite event. And we were so excited to have Sikai leading us off, getting us started, which was so fun to see her out there again. Nia again, like with her amazing routine after going viral, scoring a 995, which was just the highlight of floor at the end. And our last event was Beam, where you absolutely killed a Che, a 9925, and then Sakti finishing off the Beam rotation with a 995. But aside from gymnastics, we had a whole pit crew around, everybody stepping in for our team, the coaches stepping in, even our director of ops stepping in to put the mats wherever we needed it. And just because COVID and we don't have a lot of people, we can travel, so we really have to work together as a team. We love all our pit crew out there doing all that stuff for us because we know it's a lot of work, so we appreciate them. Everybody's really excited to have you on this show. You really like coming in as a freshman, doing all around, killing it on every single event. One thing just sticks out to everyone is your performance. I feel like performing was a fairly new thing I discovered when I was nearing kind of the end of my J.O. career. I had like this new routine. I think it just like clicked in my head, like, oh, I can actually like look good dancing. And then it was just, you know, from then on, it was just really fun for me. You told me that when you were younger, you took acting classes and you kind of had to decide between acting or gymnastics because both is just like really busy. Do you think that's a part that contributed to you performing so well and owning it or? Yeah, I do feel like acting kind of did help, but I did it so young and I feel like when you're younger, like you just don't care what people think. So I had a lot of fun doing that. But flipping around and stuff was just more entertaining to me at the time. So then I just picked that route. So here I am now. Since you said you also had a lot of fun doing acting, do you think that's something you could picture yourself doing in the future? Maybe not the acting, but my family, we're all like kind of into like the producing side of like entertainment. So maybe that's something I might end up doing, kind of joining that tradition. So if you do, just scoop me in and I want to be yeah. with you on that <laughs> route. That sounds super interesting. Now, you probably have seen this already on Brew and Bender the past years. We always have quitter questions. Hi, Shay. Congrats on an amazing meet. What made you choose to go to UCLA and what has been your favorite thing about competing for UCLA so far? UCLA was pretty much the only school I looked into. The amazing athletes that they recruit, the academics that they have here are just unmatched. So I just knew that I wanted to be a Bruin. When would you say was your first time you realized that's a school I want to go to? Was it like one aha moment? My first time visiting the campus, I was doing a camp. So I was able to like explore the campus. I don't know, just everything about it, like the coaches, Chris was awesome. Everything about it just felt like home. Whenever you feel that, I just feel like you just know that it's right for you. Would you have thought that when you first said you want to go to UCLA, that this is actually going to come true and you're going to compete all around your first two meets? 
I did not think I was going to compete all around the first two meets at all. I'm happy to do so and very grateful for the opportunity to get to compete. Even just one event like is amazing. It's hard to break into these lineups in general. So I'm just very grateful for the opportunity. <laughs> Since day one, you've definitely killed it. And we're just so impressed with you coming in, doing your thing. It's amazing to see. You also get asked, what was your favorite part of competing for UCLA so far? I mean, obviously I've been competing for a while, but being in college is kind of like a different feel that's kind of undescribable. The whole idea of like being in lineups, that's pretty cool to me. I just love sparkly Leos too. Oh, <laughs> the Leos are pretty. Sparkly. Yeah. Like that. Yes. Oh, that's so fun. And I'm so excited for you to enjoy Polly magic. That's also something really special about UCLA and about their unique fans and about the den, the student section. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Shay, congrats on a wonderful meet. What is it like connecting with the team in these times of COVID? Do you think it made it harder? What did you all do to create a strong bond? Honestly, I don't think it was necessarily harder to connect with the team. Having like unofficials and officials really helped just like I kind of already knew people going in. We had like our team meetings and stuff over Zoom where we were kind of able to connect. Virtual is virtual, but... You know, we're back on it again, Shay. <laughs> yeah, back on it again. <laughs> When we really connected was just being in the gym for the first time. And like everyone's amazing, so that helps too. <laughs> Definitely a unique experience for you guys. Like college, like everything you expect, like going to college, meeting new people, exploring the area. And you guys' first two weeks were in your dorm by yourself. I can imagine that must have been hard. It was different. Um, I would say that we did a pretty good job of kind of navigating through that. Like, we definitely did a lot of FaceTime calls. And by we, I'm talking about the other freshmen and I. We were able to play some games in the hallway when we were in sequestration. Of course, it's not how we imagined our freshman year to go, but it's a different experience. And we'll always have the memories of being in our dorm for two weeks, so... And who else can get to say that? It's all about making memories. And you also mentioned the other freshman. And I think it's so amazing and cute to see how you guys bond. So how did this happen? When did you guys connect that closely? Our connection was definitely stronger when we got to campus. We were supposed to come in with a much bigger class. So when it just came down to the three of us and we were like all planning out like our stuff, we were able to really bond. We all really love Marvel and we just have like similar interests and stuff. So we're kind of just like a little pod. <laughs> in the gym, you're always supporting each other. I even heard that the way BJ choreographed you guys' routine this year was really unique. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. BJ wanted like all the freshmen to kind of come in at the same time and learn each other's floor routines just so that we can just you know have like a little trio going on the sidelines whenever they go for the floor routine that explains why there's like a video of Frida like doing my floor routine in the corner all, all of you guys are doing it so well too I'm impressed I'm still trying to learn and like living up to your dance moves I'm like oh, I don't even <laughs> want to try and now to at least my favorite part to My German lesson. I have a sentence for you, which is Ich freue mich schon, dem Den meine Bodenübung beizubringen. I'm so sorry if I butcher this. One more time. <laughs> I'll say it word by word. Ich freue mich. Ich freue mich. This was three words, actually. <laughs> okay, I gotta be slower. <laughs> ich. <laughs> ich. Freue. Freue. Mich. Me schon schon dem dem denn denn meine meine mm -hmm. Bodenübung F Bodenübung <laughs> perfect beizubringen oh my god those are hard words I'm sorry beizubringen mm -hmm. okay so if we would translate this it would mean I'm excited to teach the Den all my dance moves so they can be ready for you competing in Pauly next year and they have all your dance moves ready and can dance with you on the sidelines because that's what I'm excited for. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you on being on the show over Zoom. I really have fun talking to you. 
can't wait to see you in practice in person again. Don't forget to check out our next meet against BYU. We are back in Pauli again and for more details you can check it out right here because now I know where I have to point. Bye Shay! Bye!